Dear viewers, in this video, we are going to look at different types of non-deterministic finite automata. In short, it is called as NFA or NDFA. So we can shortly call it as NFA or NDFA. How NDFA we need to draw? What are all the basic principles we need to consider? What are all the types of non-deterministic finite automata exist? That is what we are going to look at in this video. Regular grammar, interchangeably, we can call it as regular expressions. These two are primary source of generating a formal language, one of the formal language called regular languages. These are all the languages supported by recognized are generated by finite state automata. It is a kind of a yeah, machine, M. Yeah. We can call it as machine M. Yeah. This machine either can generate or it can or it can recognize regular language. There are two different roles it can carry forward recognize a regular language that is called finite state automata. This finite state automata consists of two different types. One is DFA, another one is NFA. DFA is termed as deterministic finite automata. NFA is termed as non-deterministic finite automata. DFA, how we can draw? There is a possibility of drawing DFA by applying logical reasoning skill. And NFA, they are majorly classified into two different types. NFA without epsilon by applying logical reasoning skill. NFA with epsilon, again, this classified into two different category. Drawing a NFA, with regular expression using equivalence procedure. It has universally common procedure. With that procedure, whomever draws NFA, it will become same. It will resemble more or less the same kind of NFA. Whereas drawing NFA by applying logical reasoning skill, it simulates one's power of thinking. Then what are all other avenues we can do? These dotted lines or states stated that possible conversion, drawing NFA with epsilon and converting NFA without epsilon. This is one set of classical problems. Then drawing NFA without epsilon and from this converting to DFA. This is another set of classical problem. Drawing NFA with epsilon converting it into DFA. This is yet another set of classical problem. Drawing N of DFA, converting back to regular expression. It's a kind of cyclic process. Everything is equivalent to each other. That is what we are trying to prove it. These dotted lines are indicated that possible conversions. It is possible to convert NFA with epsilon to without epsilon. And NFA without epsilon to DFA and NFA with epsilon to DFA, and DFA to regular expression. Why we should convert these two conversions into DFA might be the next question. Why we are converting is, the reason is computer can understand, can work only with DFA. Determinism, no chaotic situation, it should become deterministic. Non-determinism involves with multiple paths or chaotic situation. Computer always can work with a deterministic approach. That is the reason we are converting at the end to the DFA. If you are capable enough to draw a DFA for the given context of the problem construct or programming construct, that is well and appreciated. If not, you can start with the NFA, then you should know the procedure to convert NFA to DFA, either this method or this method. These are all the two different avenues to convert NFA to DFA. With that introduction, let us step into 
the introduction of NFA formal definition and the problem solving. Now, NFA with and without epsilon. What is this all about NFA? Are you curious to learn? Yes. Finite automata having zero or one or more than single move or one move. Let us look at what is this sentence all about. Let us consider one of this example. Look at this NFA in which all the If you look at this diagram, this is a transition diagram or finite state machine or finite state automata, we can call it as. Upon the input symbol zero, there are two different avenues. One of the avenue, it can take a path of stepping into this loop or it can take a path of moving to the next state. Zero is creating non-deterministic situation into this diagram. That's it. This is the only one situation. It is called non-deterministic situation. It appears. For example, this zero is given as input. I'm trying to give a input string to this machine to phrase, recognize. Let us take a consideration. I wish to give input. 0, 0, 1. In such a case, how the machine recognizes? Let me start right. 0, 0, 1 or 0, 0, 1, something like this. Now, upon the first 0 input symbol, now there is a non-deterministic situation. Whether I should go on this path to recognize this input symbol zero, or I should go on this path. There are two different choices are given for, to me. On which path I need to take the symbol scanning is the question mark. This situation, if it arises in any of the finite state machine, then it is termed as non-deterministic finite automata. Hope so, you can able to understand. On a same symbol, if more than one path exists, that's it. Let us look at here. This is very deterministic. It recognizes input symbol one. There is only one path and it goes here. But the non entire non-determinism exists on to this identified location. Because of this zero, creating two different paths. One of this path, yet another is this path. Or technically, it is called as transition. There are two transitions exist from the state A. It is an initial state. Any circle attached with this arrow mark is termed as initial state. Any double circle, if you happen to see, that is termed as final state. Let us step back to the definition of non-deterministic finite automata. This is one of the non-deterministic finite automata having zero, one or more than one moves. One or more than one moves, if it has, it is called non-deterministic. This is the meaning of NFA. Let us look into one more type of NFA. Any moment, if you could see NFA with epsilon, any one epsilon, if you able to see on the transition diagram, it is termed as NFA. That's all. This is easily recognizable. But whereas here, you need to apply a thought process. What is epsilon? It is an empty move or null move. It is to represent empty string. That's it. Now let us see the formal definition of NDFA or NFA. It is a five tuple representation. Here tuple in the sense components, five different components exist into NFA. NFA consists of these five components. One is Q. Q is set of all possible states. Another one is sigma. Sigma is alphabet or set of all symbols a collection of symbol. Next is del. Del is termed as a transition from state to the next state. From one state, what is the input symbol it accepts and upon that input symbol, where it reaches, that is termed as del. Q0, it is said to be initial state. F, it is said to be final state. 
in which nfa nfa and dfa this is the only difference what is dfa dfa is represented only with delta is represented only with a mapping function between q and sigma whereas here it goes up to 2 to the power of q states the number of states involved into nfa is more than dfa that is the reason depicted by 2 to the power of q see here the power set of q 2 to the power of q has been taken because in case of ndfa from a state transition can occur to any combination of q states so number of transitions are becoming more with the nfa so that 2 to the power of q number of states are constituted and the remaining all other representations are same as dfa dfa these two representations are same dfa this representation is retained nfa this is the only component considered as additional this is the only additional component q not is a initial state that is that belongs to capital q set of all possible states and f is a final state that can be proper subset of capital q every state in the finite state machine can become a final state that is a representation final state can become any number more than one final state is possible to represent but there must be only one initial state these are all the components of ndfa please remember guys all these are same for dfa only the possible difference is 2 to the power of q in nfa let us consider the possible combinations of the representation the vertices represents the states all the vertices are set as states arcs are labeled with an input alphabet the arcs are the arcs are labeled with an input alphabet that shows the showing the transition the initial state is denoted by an empty single incoming arc the final state is indicated by double circles that is what we have seen now let us understand the first method of drawing nfa nfa with epsilon using equivalence of regular expression and nfa this is one of the theorem popular theorem using this theorem theorem approach we are going to look at regular language and its equivalent nfa with epsilon this is the topic of discussion now set of operations are associated with every regular language let us look into the basic operations of the regular language one of the basic operation is r is equal to epsilon the regular language represents the empty string how we need to draw a nfa this is the way we need to draw nfa just start symbol initial arc ending with final state there is no other symbol is accepted there are no symbols accepted there is no symbol accepted it doesn't accept even a single symbol it starts and it stops so this is the nfa to represent the regular expression r is equal to epsilon let us move into the next regular expression this is also one of the basic operation r is equal to phi this phi is equivalent to null there is no transition at all there is no transition happening that is depicted through nfa using this strategy there is a start state there is a final state but there is no flow of transition there is no connectivity this is represented by nfa to the equivalent regular expression r is equal to phi let us look at one more basic operation r is equal to a this is one of the basic operation this represents one of the regular language this 
regular expression can recognize only one symbol that is called A. It recognizes only one symbol. So we do have a start state and we accept that input symbol A and we reach the final state. Now let us move on to little bit complex regular expression. This regular expression otherwise said as union. This union can be represented with plus or this piping symbol R or this slash symbol R with union R with comma. All these five methods are used in representing the operation called union plus this piping symbol R slash R union R comma. There are five different notations are possibly used by different authors. Now let us look at the equivalent finite state automata. There is a start state and we are taking epsilon transition moving to the next state because it is either or, either this or this. Then there is an another alternative path or transition that also happens with epsilon recognition. Empty, nothing is recognized. Then there is a machine to simulate regular expression one. There is a machine to simulate regular expression two. Then finally, there are two different path rises so that we need to reach the final state. So if the transition is happening with this path, then it reaches the final state in this flow. If the transition is reaching through this path, it should reach the final state in this flow. So there are two different branches exist with union operation. With that note, let us move on to the next operation called concatenation operation. This concatenation operation, either we can write with dot or we can write R1, R2 without dot. There are two different ways to write concatenation operation. This is called as concatenation. This is one of the operation exist in finite automata. Now let us look at, there is a start state. We start with this Q naught and the machine equivalent to the regular expression exists here. And we are connecting two different machine with epsilon transition. And there is a machine to recognize the next regular expression R2. So we are connecting with the regular expression epsilon, two different regular expressions are connected or concatenated. This is the NFA we need to simulate for concatenation operation. Let us move on to the next operation. This is one of the popular operation. It is said to be Kleene's star or Kleene's positive closure. This is depicted with R star with respect to regular expression. Now let us look at how the NFA is simulated for this. There must be a start state. Whatever may be the regular expression, there must be a start state. We are connecting with the epsilon transition on two different paths. These two different paths exist because R star is otherwise said to be union of R naught, R union of R1, etc. What is R naught? I don't want to accept this regular expression at all. I don't want to simulate the regular expression. In such a case, I need to take this path. That is the reason two different branches are exhibited onto this transition diagram. Suppose if the transition happens on this path, then it will become looping. R star is what? R to the power of zero to infinite. This is the kind of looping mechanism. 
So this looping mechanism can start with zero and it can repeat an infinite number of times. If I substitute zero instead of star, then the result would be epsilon. If I substitute one, one time it will start executing or it will repeat. If I start substituting five, five times this loop will repeat. Within this, it will repeat. This machine is kind of looping mechanism. It will start iterating or it will start repeating. That is the purpose of this sign. Whether we take this path R0 or we take R to the power of N, then R to the power of N is taken through this path. R to the power of 0 is taken through this path. Then finally, whatever the path it takes to the recognition of the given string, it must reach the final state. Whenever we see this double circled state, it is termed as final state, that's it. Now let us look at the next regular expression, Klein's positive star. This is said to be positive closure or Klein's positive star, positive closure. These are all technical terminologies. Now let us look at the NFA for this positive closure. This positive closure starts with the start symbol or start state. Then it should connect with epsilon. Then there is a machine to simulate R plus. Then it should reach the final state. If you look at R star and R plus, there are a lot of resemblance. Only the difference is this R to the power of zero is not recognized by this machine so that there is no R exist on this path. Other than this R zero component, rest all are considered for the regular expression R to the power of plus or positive closure or cleanse positive closure or cleanse positive operator. So here, this is the only path exists. Hope so, you can able to understand. Now let us move on to the problems related to NFA or examples. Now slowly we start representing this regular expression through NFA. The first approach, NFA with epsilon, first approach. Let us start. This is the initial state. This initial state number, it can be anything. I can write Q1 or I can write Q6. It can be anything. Let us assume this of initial state. Look at the loss, whichever we discussed so far now onto this table. With that reference, we can easily connect. First, we need to simulate this R1 star. R star is the model or the machine we need to start connecting here simulate until this point it is called as r star whatever we have seen the thumb rule exactly we are trying to imitate look at here one and the epsilon it keeps on repeating either you can use here epsilon here one alternatively you can use here epsilon here also one both are equivalent there is no wrong in it you can use either way now this is the machine perfectly simulates R star. Suppose if I want to recognize R0, R0 tends to epsilon. It doesn't accept anything. Then it reaches this state. It skips this entire path. If I wish to simulate one to the power of three, let us see. What is this one to the power of three? Instead of this star, I'm using one to the power of three. How it simulates, let us see. It starts on this path, epsilon. Then it recognizes one time, one, one is recognized. Then it should repeat here, epsilon. Then next time it should repeat here. Then it recognized second one. Then it must repeat on this path. Again, it can repeat with this branch. So it recognizes triple one. So all those three number of ones are recognized by this single looping mechanism or iterative concept our feed forward, feed backward concept. There are any way we can call our looping iteration 
feed forward or feed backward so through that we could able to iterate three one the same is applicable for one to the power of n any number of ones this component can simulate and recognize or accept or parse anything we can say once it recognizes one to the power of n or one to the power of zero it must connect to the next state so that is represented by this epsilon transition it reaches here then this is uh, are not required if you wish you can give this connection or you you no need to give now what we are doing is we are trying to simulate the next machine r1 and r2 then here we are applying the concept called concatenation look at here it is concatenated one star dot zero already i mentioned during this table discussion this concatenation either we you can represent with dot or without dot it is implicit without dot this also depicts concatenation whenever you do concatenation remember back see look at this rule it is connected with this epsilon there are two different machines both of the machines are connected through epsilon that is the concept we are trying here as well so this is one machine to recognize only the symbol zero so this is the machine r2 this is the finite state machine r1 these two are concatenated are connected by this epsilon transition this is called transition every arc is representing a transition each and every arc represents a transition so here we are connecting with epsilon transition that's it now let us move on to the next problem little more the first problem we are going to look at or the complexity increases look at here it has three regular expression r star is one regular expression zero is another ex regular expression this zero is another regular expression this is one of the expression this is another expression this is another expression typically if you want to write it is called one star dot concatenation operation zero r this is union zero first let us look at this union we need to consider because these two together treated as one regular expression this is set under the regular expression now although we say this is 1 2 3 within that these two together this will become one of the regular expression this will become it another regular expression now what we supposed to do because of this existence of plus or union we need to span out this branches with the two different arcs with epsilon transition empty transition look at the table already we discussed how to draw a nfa for the union operation union operation always spans out with two different transitions from the initial state we are doing the same so if we take this path the simple regular expression is a very basic operation so we recognize zero through this component and we connect with the final state epsilon now let us move on to the other path this path this is little bit tricky or complex again we synthesize this expression into two different component one star and zero look at here this is a typical machine to simulate r star so r star is what either it can go with r zero or it can go with r to the power of n where n is assumed to be infinite now if i wish to simulate r zero there is a path i need to take this path to simulate r zero whereas this path is useful for simulating r to the power of n here what is r one one star is simulated through this machine next we need to decompose it into two different regular expression this is one more simple regular expression to recognize zero 
So this is one of the regular expression or a machine. This is set another regular expression. This is machine one and this is machine two. When we do concatenation operation, we need to connect these two machines using this epsilon transition. This is the rule we have discussed during the tabulation. Now, finally, we are trying to connect to the final state. So this is the N of A with the epsilon transition using the equivalence procedure to recognize this regular expression.